How smart are you? This simple test has been used for over 50 years and has tested reasoning and intelligence with great accuracy. If you answer 30 out of those 35 questions correctly, then your IQ is higher than a CIA agent. Now get yourself ready with a pen and paper, calculator, and your steaming hot cup of coffee. And for every question you answer correctly, give yourself one point. We will add them up at the end and see an evaluation of your IQ. Without further ado, let's get started. Question number one, a bat and a ball cost $1.10 in total. If we know that the bat costs $1 more than the ball, how much does the bat cost? A, 50 cents, B, $1, C, $1.10, D, $1.05. The correct answer is D, and 97% of the people answer B. Here is why D is the correct answer. If the bat costs $1.05 then the ball costs 5 cents which totals up to $1.10. But if you chose B as your answer, then the bat would cost $1 making the cost of the ball is zero. That does not sum up to $1.10. Question number two. If it takes five machines five minutes to make five widgets, how long would it take 100 machines to make 100 widgets? A. 5 minutes B. 10 minutes C. 100 minutes D. 1 minute The correct answer is A. 5 minutes. Most people answer C, but that is totally incorrect. If it takes 5 machines 5 minutes to make 5 widgets, then it takes 1 machine 5 minutes to make 1 widget. If we have 100 machines working together, then each can make a widget in 5 minutes, so there will be 100 widgets in 5 minutes. Question number 3. In a lake, there is a patch of lily pads. Every day, the patch doubles in size. If it takes 48 days for the patch to cover the entire lake, how long would it take for the patch to cover half of the lake? A. 24 days B. 30 days C. 38 days D. 47 days The correct answer is D, 47 days. Most people answer A, 24 days. Every day forward the patch doubles in size. So every day backwards means the patch halves in size. So on day 47, the lake is half full. Question number four, you have a match and you enter a wagon with a candle, a lamp and a fireplace. Which one do you light first? The first thing you would light is the match. Question number 5. Which one is correct? Penguins flies or a penguin flies? Neither of them are correct. Penguins do not fly. Question number six. You have 20 apples in a basket. 20 children come to you, and each one of them asks for an apple. You want to give an apple to each one of them, but still keep one inside the basket. How will you do it? Give an apple for each of the 19 children, and give the basket to the last child with the apple still inside it. Question number 7. Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the highest mountain in the world?
Mount Everest was still the highest even though it had not been discovered. Facts do not change. Question number 8. A man and his son were in an automobile accident. The man died on the way to the hospital, but the boy was rushed into surgery. The emergency room surgeon said, I can't operate. That's my son. How is this possible? The surgeon was his mother. Question number 9. There was an airplane crash. Every single person on board died, but yet two people survived. How is this possible? The two were married. The question clearly stated that every single person on board died. Now that was definitely a tricky one. Question number 10. How many birthdays does the average person have? Just one birthday. All the rest are anniversaries. Question number 11. Which one of the five is least like the other four? Billiards, badminton, baseball, golf, football. Football. The only sport played without something in your hands. Question number 12. Virus is to a vaccine as an exam is to a trying, B passing, C failing, D studying. Studying. A virus is fixed by a vaccine. The same way an exam is helped by studying. Question number 13. Eric needs 13 bottles of water from the store. He can only carry 3 bottles at a time. What's the minimum number of trips he has to make to the store? A. 4.5 B. 3 C. 4 D. 5 Five trips Eric can only carry three bottles per trip meaning after four trips he'll be left with one bottle. His fifth trip, Eric will carry one. Question number 14. Which of the numbers does not belong to the following series? The number that does not belong in this sequence is the number 8. The sequence's pattern functions by adding 1, then multiplying by 2. Question number 15. Pick the number that is quarter, of half, of one-fifths of 200. A. 14. B. 4. C. 5. D. 10. The correct answer is C, which is 5. A fifth of 200 is 40. Having that gives you 20 and then dividing that by 4 will leave you with 5. 
Question number 16. Two towns are exactly 100 miles apart. Jack leaves city at driving at 30 miles per hour. And David leaves city be a half an hour later driving 60 miles per hour. Who will be closer to city when they meet? Both would be the same distance from city A. Question number 17. Jack is convicted in Germany. He gets the death penalty. The judge allows him to say the last sentence in order to determine the way the penalty will be carried out. If he lies, he will be hanged. But if he speaks the truth, he will be beheaded. The person speaks the last sentence. And to everybody's surprise some minutes later he is set free because the judge cannot determine his penalty. What did Jack say? Jack said, I shall be hanged. If he was lying, he would be hanged. But that's what the Chacha was saying. So he speaks the truth. But if he speaks the truth, he would be beheaded. So then he was not speaking the truth. So it is impossible for the judge to determine whether the person speaks the truth or not. So, therefore, the judge cannot determine the penalty and sets him free. Question number 18. There are two sand hourglasses. The small one can measure five hours. And the large one can measure 7 hours. How can we measure 16 hours with two sand hourglasses running together? Steps. Start both sand hourglasses at the same time. You flip over the small sand hourglass when it finishes the first 5 hours. Flip over the large one when it finishes its first 7 hours. When the small sand hourglass runs to 10 hours, flip over the small and large sand hourglass at the same time. It means the large sand hourglass will run 3 hours again. When the large sand hourglass run to 13 hours, flip both the small and large sand hourglass over again to run another 3 hours. Question number 19. If there are six apples and you take away four, how many do you have? The four you took. Question number 20, Tina who is 16 years old, is four times as old as her brother. How old will she be when she is twice as old as he? Twenty-four, when you divide Tina's age, 16, into 4, you'll find that her brother is 4, meaning, when Tina is 24, her brother will be 12, when he's 12, her brother will be half Tina's age. Question number 21. How much dirt is there in a hole 3 feet deep, 6 feet long and 4 feet wide? None, or it wouldn't be a hole. Question number 22. I have 100 coins in my wallet. What is the minimum number of coins required in order to make sure each coin touch exactly three other coins? The answer is four coins. Three placed flat on the table in a triangle, touching each other, 
and put the fourth one on top of them in the middle. Question number 23. Considering below equations. Then what is the answer? Answer is 60. Question number 24. My sock drawer has 26 blue socks, 13 pink socks, 33 green socks, and 12 red socks. How many socks would I have to pull out in the dark to be sure I had a matching pair? Five, there are only four colors, so five socks guarantee that two will be the same color. Question number 25. If two's company and three's a crowd, what do four and five make? Five and four make nine. Question number 26. What gets bigger and bigger the more you take away from it? A hole. Question number 27. What goes up and down but still remains in the same place? Stairs. Question number 28. And how long is the answer to this question? It's how long? Question number 29. If you pass the second place runner in a race, what place will you be in? A. Third. B. Second. C. First. You will be in second place. Question number 30. Mary's father had five children, Mimi, Mumu, Mama, Meme, and what was the fifth child's name? A. Marie, B. Mary, C. Momo. His fifth child name is Mary. Remember, we mentioned Mary's father at the beginning of the question. Question number 31. How could the 22nd and 24th presidents have the same parents, but not be brothers? A. The parents were cheating. B. It was the same person. C. They were sisters. The 22nd and 24th presidents were both the same person, Grover Cleveland. 
Question number 32. What is as light as a feather? But even the strongest man cannot hold it for more than a few minutes. A. A feather. B. His breath. C. A smile. His breath. Question number 33. Imagine you are in a sinking rowboat surrounded by sharks. How will you survive? A. Fly away in a helicopter. B. Stop imagining. C. You couldn't the sharks would eat you. Stop imagining. Question number 34. How far can you walk into the woods? A. As far as you want. B. All the way and then back out again. C. Halfway. Halfway, because when you get past halfway you're walking out again. Question number 35. Some months have 31 days. How many have 28? A. 1. B. 9. C. 12. The answer is 12. Since all months have 28 days. If you were able to get all questions right, your IQ is above 150. Good job, you are a genius. If you were able to get 30 questions right, your IQ is around 135 which is equivalent to a CIA agent, and you are considered in the top 2% intelligent people in the world. If you were able to get 27 questions right, your IQ is around 130. That is still awesome. If you got 25 questions were answered correctly, your IQ is 125. Good job. If you got 22 questions correctly, your IQ is 120, which is above average. If you got 20 questions correct, your IQ is 110, which is an average IQ. Less than 20 questions answered correctly. Maybe you need to start working on some skills. Let us know how much you scored in the comments section below. Also, Consider sharing this quiz with your friends and knowing how much they scored as well. As always, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Thank you, and see you in the next video.